For decades, the BMW 3 Series and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class have been bitter rivals. And of course, the top dogs of those respective ranges are the M3 and the C63 AMG, the fire breathing versions. But if you're on a budget, you look at the C43 and the M340i. Four-wheel drive, AWD, a six-cylinder engine, but the Mercedes this time is coming in with a four-cylinder. So you have the Mercedes that has four cylinders and two liters, but it's the more powerful of the two. It has 310 kilowatts versus the 285 kilowatts for the six-cylinder turbo BMW. Of course, I'm a UAE kind of guy. I love the four-cylinder because I'm not a dinosaur. The dinosaurs might like the six cylinders and all the passion and the sound that that brings to it. So let's see how it goes out there. Let's see. Sorry, I was in neutral. <laughs> I was in neutral. Ah, okay. <laughs> now he's falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was in reverse. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can get our act together today. Launch control R, okay, let's go. Oh, that's a good start. It's quick. But not quick enough. That Bima is going. Not by much, not by much. Okay, it's a slightly slower car, but I think it's a much more stylish car, much more comfortable car, much more technologically advanced car. You know, this is on the cars for the future. Right, so Putti and I have swapped cars now. I've come from the BMW into the Mercedes and let's see if it's a driving issue or a car issue. Now I'm in the BMW, I want to see exactly where the advantage is. Launch control, go! Okay, that moves. It just disheads off the line ahead of me in that the BMW, and, oh, no. but I'm catching. I think I'm sneaking up onto him. The six cylinder still has an advantage over the four cylinder. Once he establishes that distance, then it stays stable for a while, and then I start gradually edging up to him. Still a good old boy, this M340i. Still sounds good. I'll give it that. Very close, though. very close between these two. I like new things. I like technology, innovation, future forward thinking. Right, we're done and dusted, and here are the final figures. BMW, 0-100, 4.4 seconds. Mercedes, 4.6 seconds. Putti, maybe it's because you were driving the Mercedes the most and you weren't wearing your hat today. Ah, you know what? I am so disappointed and I hate losing a bet. But yes, uh, the Mercedes didn't do so well. But it wasn't so bad. It's just the car length. It was actually very close. I mean, 0.2 of a second, that's not much. And the longer we were running, the more the uh, Mercedes was actually catching to the tail. So maybe over a one kilometer distance, it would have been a lot closer even. Indeed, and I noticed from the BMW, the Merc actually looks better. <laughs> so, winner, you got it. I was wrong. There we go, I'm gonna drive the BM home. I'm going home in style. <laughs>